Are you a Google Street View creator looking for a solution to create continued path on Google Maps in an area that cars can't go? Are you a you see, VR filmmakers looking for a solution to do camera movement but cannot afford a $20,000 rover like the Motion Impossible right here? Today, I will review a backpack designed for the see, VR camera that is perfect for Google Street View photographer who love to hike in a remote area on foot. I will test it with my install to see Titan, the heaviest and the most expensive VR camera to shoot 11K super high resolution Google Street View photos. There is no tutorial out there right now to teach you how to use install to see Pro 2 or the Titan to create real Street View path. The blue line you see right here. We will cover that. Having 11K to 60 photo in super high quality with a continuity path is a sure way to replace what is out there already on Google Map. But more importantly, for filmmakers out there, I will teach you how to add vibration dampening to your setup to create a stable POV to 60 video. And as you see right here, one wheel with the monopole backpack to replace the expensive rover and add dynamic camera movement to your GCVR film. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's roll right in. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up and today I'm with Devin. How's it going Hugh? So Devin, where are we right now? We are at the Container Yard, which is a spot in downtown LA with a ton of street murals and uh, one dedicated to Kobe Bryant and we'll check out later. Nice, and we are gonna do a virtual tour about this area. Mm -hmm. As you see the Titan right there, we actually gotta shoot this with the Titan for Google Street View in 11K, five frames per second, super high resolution. And we gotta do it with the special thing on your back. It's the monopole backpack. It's a backpack basically with a 39 inch monopole or a one meter tall monopole. So it lets you elevate your camera, change your perspective. So if you want like a crazy tiny earth, you can really send your camera all the way up, you know. Nice. So before we're talking about even 360, you actually can use it for 2D as well to put a Correct. microphone on top. Tell me more about it. Uh, we've mounted microphones up here for like a stereo audio setup so we can get more of a ambient audio, I guess, sphere or soundscape. But I want to go with that, uh, audio soundscape. But also you can mount a, you know, regular normal uh, mirrorless camera to the top of it and just use it for, uh, you know, I, we've had gimbals up here. So you can, you know, use the app to pan the gimbal around as you're like moving the backpack. So it's kind of like, do whatever you want with it, I guess, you know? Nice. Within 10 pounds. This is actually exceeding the weight limit of the backpack, but because I'm here, we're gonna be okay. So is it gonna work? We are gonna find out. And I am gonna ride my one wheel with the backpack and ride around this container area. But before we do that, let's talk about more spec. So just tell me about the spec about the monopole. So what is the weight limit and how high it can go and, and why it's better than like other people's homemade monopole? You know, actually, yeah. How it, There are some people who have homemade monopoles out there. Um, you know, the only thing that I guess differentiates us from them is that uh, we've made like, you know, a hundred of these now. So they're a little bit more sturdier, well designed, quite roomy, and most of them don't go as far as ours, I guess I'd say. But, you know, there isn't really anybody selling a monopole backpack out there right now. So we're currently the only people like pursuing this monopole backpack dream. But we hope to in future make a even taller, longer version with an even stronger pull, mm -hmm. you know. Nice. But right now, this current version is a 39 inch pole, which uh -huh. is one meter. Uh -huh. uh, it can support up to 10 pounds, is what we have it set at, you uh -huh. know, uh, safely it can support 10 pounds, uh -huh. and which is a 4.5 kilograms. Also, just to let everybody know, when you put a camera up here, you know, uh, if it's, you know, a couple pound camera, it's going to change your whole body's movement and, uh, and force. So putting a 4.5 kilogram camera, uh, be careful when you're bending over, you know, be aware of things around 
around you because you are going to be moving with that thing and it will change your body's center of gravity and maybe cause you to tip over so okay you know. so I, I gotta do the stunt because i'm the stunt in this video so, right, so. we're gonna ride around with that Hello. The monopole backpack is a two-section monopole, so that means there's two sections here. There's like, this is one of the sections. The second section, it's got twist locks, which are pretty darn sturdy. Twist it, bring it all the way up. This is fully extended. And that's the full 39 inches, or it's actually just shy of like a meter, like 99, like it's 0.99 meters. Tell me about the inside of the backpack. Oh yeah. Good inside, and at the top of it, it's got a 3 8 mount for extra sturdiness. So you can either mount a tripod head on there if you want to, or if you have a. So it's coming with 3 8 and not yeah. coming Because with... you know, the problem with quarter 20 is it's smaller and not as sturdy as a 3 8 frankly. And this is the inside of the backpack, which you can see has been gone through a bit because I've stuffed things in here. But there's enough space in here to put an Insta360 Pro 2, even with the little stand that it sits on, and then a few other little like uh, you know camera bits along the side here. And then also we have pockets. And my favorite thing is uh, not just the monopole, but it's got a zipper. I'm not mentioning just a zipper, but it's got two pockets on the side, either for water bottles or a, a small tripod. So, and then a nice handle right here. And importantly, just to get a little closer, talk about we have the, uh, uh, I guess, a belt strap here, a belly strap, and then we have like a sternum strap right here. So that'll help secure the backpack to you. And definitely when you're moving around the backpack, make sure it's on your tight because that'll keep the monopole from moving around too much. Can you put a computer there? Uh, no, there's not enough room for the computer in here because that's where the uh, monopole and its backing sit. So you can actually see it's oh. really secured in there. Um, so that's actually, you know, metal. Where is this material? Oh, that right there is just a hard, thick plastic backing that it supports it against. It's like, you can think of it almost like plywood. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> nice. How heavy is the backpack in total? You know, that's a good question. It's not too heavy. I think it's maybe five pounds, maybe. I mean, it's definitely heavier than a normal backpack, of course. It's got a metal pole in it, but it's not crazy heavy. There's a nice Actually, a good zipper point. on the side there, and then the pocket right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I, you know, good eyes. It's a little fanny pack zipper, I guess you could call it. A little fanny pack pocket, I guess you would call so it. So, yeah, fanny, fanny pack man. I know. You, uh, hey, you know, for those who want to support a fanny pack, oh, it's only on one side, sadly. Yeah. And I should have brought my red fanny pack out. <laughs> have my it's things become in. my favorite backpack because I'm Asian. I need the fanny pack. <laughs> you need the fanny pack, put your little thing gums in there, dental floss, whatever, you know, things you need. Quick access to. Nice. Little napkin. Dental floss. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a, it's a fanny pack. You put things you need in your fanny pack, easy to reach, you know, like napkins, you know. Or for girls, it's like, you know, makeup stuff that they still. Oh, right, you know, there's a fanny pack right there. Fanny pack right here. But it's for film. That's a, fanny pack. that's a film fanny pack. That's like the Wonder Woman utility belt. Canon. Yeah. This is not a Canon commercial. Yeah. So another thing, uh, let's talk about why this backpack and this this implication is so important for the 360 industry. There's a two way to make professional money with the Titan or the Pro 2. Actually, the Insta360 Pro 2 is the more the camera that in the the weight limit, and I would recommend anybody to use it. We do it a Titan just for the heck of it, just for fun. Uh, the reason why we want that is two major business. It's Google Street View and also use this as a really cheap rover. Mm -hmm. The first uh, indication in Google Street View, uh, as you all know that that's one of the main reasons why people are getting this camera, because you can take Street View, approve photography for, uh, for area like that. When we ride around with the monopole, we can cover large area, they don't allow car to come in. Like this area, sometimes doesn't allow car to come in. So we can do that with just a electronic skateboard and a backpack. And another big reason why is, as I said, it's a cheap version of the Rover. It's like Rover easily got $20,000. Uh, with the Titan, even more. With this, we can have the backpack, you carry it, you're the operator, you're the Rover, and you run around with a skateboard or one wheel, and then you get yourself a cheap Rover. That is a great implementation if you need that solution for your film. So today we gotta try both with this setup. The monopole backpack. Okay, now- you, Are your insurance premiums paid up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the legit question. Do you have camera insurance? No, no, no. Uh, what about health insurance, buddy? Uh, I, I, I don't have, I, I don't have neither. 
both? You have like, health insurance. Do I have health insurance? I, yes, you do. <laughs> well, today we get the test to see how well it works, I guess, uh, yeah. right? Well, I health insurance nothing. I, I really want camera insurance because the camera is more expensive than my life. So, oh. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I don't buy that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 would, I, would take the, I would take you over the Titan, I think. Yeah, so. you're, you're priceless. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to be like, save the camera. He'd be like, no, you save yourself. So this backpack is designed specifically for the Insta360 Pro 2. And Devin actually used that uh, beforehand, right? We basically worked together with Insta360 to develop the monopole backpack to support the Insta360 Pro 2. And they basically have tested with the camera and they have assured me and their customers that the backpack will support that camera model. I guess your boy would love to do stuff that is not allow so i am going to ride with the insta 3 titan over there with the one wheel over there and i gotta ride around this whole area and try to do a virtual tour uh, this entire area in 11k super high resolution so let's see if it actually work and if i gonna be epic fail what is fine now That was fun. For the majority of the viewers who do not have one wheel or are not VR filmmakers, walking tour for Google Street View is probably the biggest reason why you want to invest into this backpack. So let's focus the rest of the video on that. When you walk, you will have unwanted up and down motion which will affect the flow state stabilization. If you are familiar with how a gimbal works, you know what I'm talking about. So we will need a vibration isolator like the one you see right here to absorb some of those z-axis motions. It will make your virtual tour look better and more stable. I also have a quick release right here to help take the camera out fast without taking off the backpack. Insta360 Titan and Pro 2 have a direct way to upload certified Google Street View path onto Google Map. You can, however, do some extra works to make this result look even better. We recommend shoot at 11K monoscopic in 5 frames per second with the Insta360 Titan and 8K in 5 frames per second with the Pro 2. Having 11K Titan photo is a sure way to replace whatever currently on Google Map, as Google will take in better and more recent street view data. So using Titan as a street view camera has a huge advantage over the Pro 2. Here is a general workflow. Titan and Pro 2 all have a preview proxy file. You first load in that preview file in your editing software of choice. I use Adobe Premiere Pro right here, but you can use any free video player or NLE to do this. You find the start and end point of your walking path. Less you can upload on Google, the faster Google will process your street view. So this step is important. You write down your in and out point time code on a piece of paper. Now open up Insta360 Stitcher, the free software that comes with your camera. Drop the folder of the continued text here. Go down to cut video section. The from is your in time code and the to is your out time code. Content type is monoscopic. Stitching mode use optical flow. 
don't use the new optical flow as that is a lesser quality stitching mode. Uncheck flow state stabilization as this will mess up your GPS data. Also, go without saying, attach your GPS antenna on your Titan or Pro 2 and make sure they are not blocked by objects. Another tip is for your branding. The whole point of providing free Google Street View on Google Map is to advertise your service to local businesses. Having your logo there in your Nadia is very important as you see mine here, with my website and social media. To add your logo, click the Nadia logo and browse the logo to insert in your Nadia. The resolution should be 11K. I shot 3D here as I'm also doing a 3D 360 virtual tour with 3D Vista. More on that later. Don't forget to subscribe on Creator Up to learn that part. The output format is MP4. The codex type is H.264. Everything else can live as default. Then go ahead and render the 11K video. We recommend using a computer that has a powerful GPU on this. Check out this laptop we recommend for this kind of works to save you some time. After you are done rendering, open up Stitcher again. On top of the file menu, open Upload Content to Google Street View. Log into your Google account in the pop-up menu window. Anyone can be Street View certified, and it takes literally one upload from your Titan or Pro 2, and you will be approved. My point is, the Google Street View certification badges mean nothing, and businesses know that, so don't rely on it. Make sure you take good virtual tour photo is more important. If you need help on taking high quality HDR virtual tours, check out this series right here. It is the best on the internet and it is absolutely free. Please don't pay for any virtual tour course, they are mostly a rip off. Invest your money in a better camera like the Pro 2 or Sony Alpha 1 instead. Also, don't forget to check automatically blur faces and license plate in video and let Google help you to actually blur out people's faces and license plate so you can actually use your virtual tour. If you did all the above step, go ahead and click upload to submit and wait for upload process to complete. Google will automatically turn your video into consecutive street view photos in the highest quality. Please give it two weeks for Google to process your street view, especially if you are uploading 11K to 60 video. At the time of recording, my street view of the downtown Los Angeles art district is still in processing. So be patient with Google and let your client know, set their expectations so they won't freak out when the result is not there yet on Google. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and create more interesting VR video or map area that does not have Google Street View path just yet. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for a more fun video just like this one. Comment below and tell me your idea of using this monopole backpack and share your tips and tricks with the community. I'm going to travel with this backpack soon to have some more POV view of the places I'm going to visit in 260 VR and I cannot wait to share those results with you guys. Until next time, ciao!